This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review, soon to be renamed the Crude Life Daily Update. My name is Jason Spies, and I'm your host today. On today's episode, we talk with Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings LLP as he discusses a recent article where he challenges the Wall Street Journal and their piece on fracking and evaluations of companies in 2019, oil companies in 2019. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings right here on the Mondak Oil Field Review, soon to be called the Crude Life Daily Update. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. I totally agree with you, and the word that you brought into this is fact. You tell the facts, and then you let people make up their own minds. If you want someone who's competent, you don't want to get a bunch of rookies. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Um, Jason, what's your thought on this? No one does an interview like Jason Spies. Welcome back to the Mondak Oilfield Review, soon to be renamed the Crude Life Daily Update. My name is Jason Spies, and I'm your host today. Up next, Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings, LLP. On average, it's pretty well known that, you know, some wells in some uh, shale plays aren't producing wh- what was expected. You know, the, the um, I guess the surprising thing for me was that it seemed like the Wall Street Journal article wasn't researched very well. Um, and the other thing about the article was that it skewed a lot of the, you know, background, the history in the industry, as well as a lot of the projections that they showed. Well, what I've noticed, and, and this is going to be a total little sidebar here, um, the reason I kind of mentioned earlier about the blogs and how they seem to be, a lot of bloggers these days seem to be, doing better journalism than a lot of the, you know, d- journalists, I guess, is it almost seems like, you know, the Wall Street Journal is telling you how to feel. And a lot of the, you know, bloggers and people like yourself are telling us facts. And so we can actually come to our own conclusions and make up our own mind. Um, that, that's what I got out of that Wall Street Journal is almost there was more emotion in there than there was fact. D- do you know what I'm saying by that? Am I way off base? Well, I definitely agree with with uh, you know it seemed like it was a one sided argument, right? There, there's there seems to be a, a shift, particularly when we read articles about the oil and gas industry. Every now and then, you come across these these articles that are just one sided. They're not down the fairway. To listen to the full length interview with Chris Cottrell with Paul Hastings LLP, or to listen to other full length interviews, visit. TheCrudeLife.com. That's TheCrudeLife.com. The Mondak Oil Field Review will soon be called The Crude Life Daily Update. For more information, check out the website, TheCrudeLife.com. That's TheCrudeLife.com. From the staff at The Crude Life Media Network, my name is Jason Spiesk, asking you to keep calm and frack on.